them, don't you? You know we need them. Do we need them? Yeah, we have to have them. We have <laughs> we to have, have them. We have to have <laughs> strategies. Right, I guess you're right. We gotta have strategies. Strategies <laughs> for living, that is. Hey folks, welcome. Welcome into 1017 FM 710 Kio. You ready? You ready for your daily dose of radio rehab? Ooh, ready or not, we got something fun yeah, and planned today, yeah, don't we? Yeah, we do. <laughs> yeah, we do. Welcome into Strategies for Living, here to help us live healthier, happier, more peaceful lives in our bodies, minds, spirits, and relationships. And you know, today, Lauren, mm-hmm. I could add brain. Absolutely. Well, I think I could the, add brain every day. It is part of the body. It's an important part of the body. But especially the brain today, because you know... Uh, Ooh, we got the brain of brains you know, on deck today, don't we? We do. She <laughs> is She is warming up as we speak. Training that brain, lifting weights. Denisa Walker <laughs> from uh, Learning RX, Shreveport, Bossier City, is here with us. And she's here because, uh, you know, September traditionally has been... ADHD Awareness Month, Mm -hmm. but they're doing some shuffling around now, you know, and uh, so now they've changed uh, September to Neurodiversity Month. Ah, okay. Yeah, and so ADHD Awareness has been moved, oh, I think it's to October, uh, October. Yeah. yeah. But Denisa can talk about all of it. Sure. I mean, she can talk about... The brain uh, of brains. The, yeah. Mm-hmm. And when you train your brain, mm-hmm. you know, you you literally change your whole life. Yes. And the kids are just back in school. So a lot of us uh, parents and grandparents, we're looking at kids and we're seeing this new school year. We're going to talk a little bit today about what you need to look for mm-hmm. in, in terms of your child. We're also, you know, always... When Denisa comes, um, oh, she brings she good things. Brings gifts. She mm-hmm. bears gifts when she <laughs> comes. So you know, one of the things that Learning RX does is a personal assessment and plan. And right now, if you just put in assessment when you uh, go to their website or you talk to them on the phone, you say the word assessment, put in the word assessment, and it's half price. Neurodiversity. Neurodiversity. See, I need some. I need you some brain need training. Some training I need some brain the training. The key, the code keyword here is neurodiversity. Neurodiversity. That gets you half that. off of an assessment. Okay. You got so, it now. So okay. So I had it completely. <laughs> You're mixed a little up. Le- less I, Dixic today. I'm less Dixic well, today. Well, you know, good thing we got Denise on yeah, board. Yeah, she's a uh, she's a less Dixic specialist. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and man, do I need it? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we're going to talk about Denise and uh, learning RX and neurodiversity and ADHD and the start of the new school year and what you need to watch for because you know we won't we won't our kids to do well, right? Absolutely, to thrive in every environment. And when you change the brain, and that's what Learning RX specializes in, you change your life from young to old. Folks, thank you for tuning in to Strategies for Living today. We appreciate our sponsors making it all possible. The Robinson Film Center and Azalea Cleaners and Learning RX and Pintail Roofing roof, roof. and the Balanced Life Wellness Center. Back in a moment. With Denisa Walker from Learning RX Report Bozier, right here on Strategies for Living. Hi, this is Jay Merle for Pintail Roofing. Let's talk about quality. When you hire Pintail to build your roof, here's what you can expect quality and quality control are the most important concerns for us at Pintail. And you need to know that Pintail stands tall with swift and professional performance on any warranty call. This is our most important policy. And remember, we're your neighbors. We'll be here for you for the long haul. Our family's lived here for over 100 years, and we aren't going anywhere. On the commercial side of Pentel's business, our fluid-applied roofing solutions can save thousands of dollars over conventional commercial roofing options. Call Pentel at 226-ROOF for a free inspection of your home or commercial building. That's 226-7663. Pintail Roofing. What's the condition of your roof? And welcome in. Welcome in to 101.7 FM. 
and 710 Keel. Welcome into Strategies for Living. Lauren Leon McMillan, David McMillan. And let's welcome back Denisa Walker, the owner and executive director of Learning RX Report. Of course, Denise has been on so much. She's she's <laughs> she's she's almost a co-host. So uh, you know, uh, I don't know. Uh, you've been on so much, Denise. Uh, you you need no introduction, but I'm going to give you one anyway. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, I hope people don't get tired of listening to you. Absolutely no, not. Be. No, because we're also thankful that in 2008 you decided to bring Learning RX into Shreveport with a passion for training the brain to, uh, to address the underlying deficits that cause uh, a lot of issues and problems, including dyslexia and other learning disorders. And Denisa received a Master's of Education from UT Tyler, certified master reading teacher and dyslexia specialist, 30 plus years of teaching and administration experience, and now uh, learning RX in uh, Shreveport, Bossier. Denisa, welcome back. Welcome back to Strategies for Living. Welcome back. Thank you. I appreciate that. So uh, the month of, of September has traditionally been ADHD Awareness Month. But now right. we've kind of shifted that to like Neurodiversity Awareness <laughs> Month, right? Yeah, so neurodiversity has um, been associated in a lot of ways. The, the word neurodiverse actually means basically where you, your brain thinks differently or uh, and embracing the way that we all think differently and the way that we learn differently is really important for us. Mm -hmm. And especially as we start into the new school year. I mean, m most of us started in August. We're just now, you know, at first, the first few hundred uh, honeymoon phase of school is now getting over, right? Yeah, it's, it's the so get to know me is past, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, they're all settling down to the nitty gritty, and now the the things that were kind of cute are starting to wear on the teacher's nerve, and <laughs> the, the parents' nerve, and the uh, the other kids in the classroom nerves, and and so it's kind of those things. But what we have to do now is to begin to understand that it's a journey to support neurodivergent learners, and we don't really want to change them so much as we want to change the world to be more accepting of the way that we learn differently and that learning differently is okay. And I think that that's the whole thing. It's just about empowerment and that neurodiversity is probably every bit as crucial for the human race as biodiversity in life. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, we, we can't say that at any point um, the way that someone's brain is wired is going to change. I think this is all about changing our perspective in how we address the individual learner and seeing each individual learner as a gift rather than, hey, you don't fit the mold, so you need this. Right. Right. And I think that that is that is the whole thing. So it's not about, you know, autism or ADHD or dyslexia. Or, yes, all of those are neurodiverse learning uh, challenges. Right? right. But they're also neurodiverse learning gifts. And I think right. that that's the thing that uh, we need to see is seeing past the label because our world needs all kinds of minds. Absolutely. Our world needs needs the Einsteins of the world that are going to be creative but can't tie their shoes I mean, <laughs> yes do, yeah. right yeah. Uh, at the same thing because we all think differently and i think those are important things um but i think we need to embrace the whole perspective of choosing to embrace the learners differently and it's something that we have to actually train our kids and train ourselves to see it from a different perspective so right. i think if, if that's anything i want to say is what each person does makes a difference and th looking at it through their perspective uh changes things um you know when when 
when I'm on the radio with you guys, I come as a guest. But like you say, you know, sometimes it can be perceived to be a co-host because I've been so often. It's yeah. all perception, yeah. right? Yeah, there you go. Um, and I think that we look at this and we say, okay, well, what is the perception that we can give to others about learning that can help them embrace and understand um, I always struggle with my vision. It was something that I struggle with, but I did not realize that I had a struggle right. with my vision right. until I was in seventh grade, mm -hmm. right? And then I got glasses, and for whatever reason, that was just one of the things that everybody wanted to make fun of you if yeah. you had glasses. Right. Yeah. You know, so it's yeah. like four eyes mm -hmm. and all these kind of things. Sure. You know? Not realizing how much impact that. So then I would struggle through not wearing my glasses because I was ashamed and didn't want to be called names instead of embracing yes i don't see like you see but i actually can see better with these glasses on than you see you know mm -hmm. um and children's minds don't think like that unless we empower them and i think we have the ability to empower and help our future be more inclusive if we help people reorganize and normalize um, neurodiversity. How does how can brain training and uh, learning RX is about helping all brains learn easier, think faster, Correct. perform better? So, how does what learning RX does in one on one brain training? How does that target and help any kind of neurodiverse um, approach? that may be Learn. going on yes. learner yeah because if we if we truly embrace that we're all neurodiverse and i can tell you from experience how many people i've never had any two people come into my center mm -hmm. and do an assessment and have the same brain prints mm. oh i mean yeah. just like we have unique fingerprints i have never yeah. had even twins even yeah. people yeah. who are identical twins that you can't tell apart their cognitive functionality is different and I think that's a gift. I think that is the probably the coolest thing I could ever say. Yeah. Is that my brain is completely different than your brain. Right. right. Uh, because even as we go through, you know, birth and our our cultural around us. So yes, you can get into the fight of uh, with different um, professionals on whether it's nature or nurture. Mm, right. I think it's both. Yeah. I think absolutely. there is, is you know there's no definitely argument here. Nature. Sure. Yeah, definitely nature and genetics and definitely nurture. But the reality is that even if you, the same two children birthed to the same parents with the same genetics and raised in the same home, they're still going to pick up different experiences in a different way. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like a left shoe and a right shoe. Um, neither one of the shoes is wrong. It's right. just a different perspective, right? Yeah. Yes. yeah. So I think that that's kind of the situation. And I, and I want us to embrace and be able to. So here at Learning RX, we're all about helping the learner see where their potential is. Let's look at what your brain learns like. And the let's uniqueness. see where we can enhance that yeah. to make you more efficient. Because I have people coming here that have really great IQs. Mm -hmm. I have people come here who have great thinking skills and measured against their peers. They're the top of their class, but yet they are not happy with where they are at and they want to make change. Mm -hmm. And that can be, and that I can say the same of myself. I feel like I'm, I'm a smart person and, and very effective and efficient as, as Lauren can testify. Mm -hmm. yes. It's, it wasn't a lack of ability at all yeah. that makes you, it's a lot, it's an efficiency matter mm -hmm. it's let's take this level of where we are at to the next level i mean a 32 on act is great but a 36 is better yeah i mean i'm just saying mm -hmm. you know yeah. yes yeah. Yeah. so can you take can you take the skill of where you're at and embrace that not as a bad thing but just as a thing of it's it's always growing. Right. It's always uh, a changing. And so that's that's really what my thought process is, is, is 
what is wrong with us always trying to grow our brand? What is wrong with that? We've talked about the power of yet and changing those things, but what is wrong with us always wanting a little more? Mm-hmm. Always I don't think growing a, a little bit yeah. more. Yeah. Well, yeah. because that's what we're supposed to be doing, isn't it? I mean, we're exactly. we're in this life to to grow and to learn. Right. Yeah, and that's right. some of the elegance of recognizing neurodiversity and neuroplasticity. Right? Is that we can rec- we recognize that we're always in a state of being exposed and changing and adapting to our surroundings. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And and just embracing that a different kind of intelligence is really a good thing. So yeah. I think, you know, this is fun. I, I will tell you this this past uh, couple of weeks. So we when we had the uh, parent game night, family game night here. Right. It was so much fun. It was packed. It was loud. It was even kind of hot because so many warm bodies here. <laughs> sure, um, sure. In, a, in a small area, yeah. you know, but well, what's parents fun? and kids a lot. Oh, we had so so much fun so much fun and the parents cannot quit talking about how much fun it was those both uh who visited for the very first time and those who come on a regular basis to learning rex just keep saying you know I had so much fun and I learned so much about myself mm. and my child and, you know, so, so many about my family. And, you know, we've played so much in our games and things like that. And um, I think it's the difference if we look at it, if we look at the def- the difference definition in sparkle and shine, mm. both of those words mean the same difference, right. but they also mean something totally different, right? Yeah. And I think that it's that that is what I'm talking about. It's that whole little piece of um, just embracing how we look at things for each learner. And instead of seeing that child as being a squeaky wheel in our classroom or a squeaky wheel or irritating, you know, um, you know, in what they do or how they say it or how they go about it, it more embracing that and looking at their strengths um, and benefits that we can that we can get from from that absolutely, experience. and yeah. they are there. And learning RX can help us help each person, help each child discover what their special strengths are. Eighty-eight fifty-six Uri Drive, three one eight seven nine seven eight five two three. Denisa Walker, Learning RX, Shreveport, Bossier City, with us today here on Strategies for Living. Talking about uh, Neurodiversity Awareness Month and ADHD awareness. And uh, we've got more to learn always from Denisa Walker, Learning RX, Report Bozier. We'll be right back here on Strategies for Living. Stay with us. You're going to see the difference when you go to Azalea Cleaners. You'll hear about it, too. Azalea Cleaners has been fine dry cleaning since 1958, plus laundry, alterations and repairs, comforters, wedding gown cleaning and restoration. You'll hear about it from your friends because they'll see it, too. They'll notice the Azalea difference. Azalea is convenient. 732 Azalea Drive, 9220 Ellerby Road, and 9227 Mansfield Road, plus the front door of your home or business with Azalea's delivery on demand. Just text setup to 249-8283 and Azalea will pick up your clothes and deliver them back clean and fresh to you. You can't get closer than that. That's the Azalea difference. You'll notice it right away. Others will too. The Azalea difference. Fine dry cleaning since 1958. Text setup to 249-8283 and get the Azalea difference. AzaleaCleaners.com And welcome back. Welcome back into Strategies for Living. You know, here we talk every day about creating a life that makes you excited, makes you excited to wake up and start every day. That's what we do on Strategies and we do it with uh, folks like uh, Denisa Walker, our life strategist today. Welcome back. Yes. Lauren Leon McMillan, David McMillan with Denisa Walker from <laughs> Learning RX, Shreveport Bossier, 8856 Uri Drive, 
318-797-8523. Everything starts there. And, you know, everything at Learning Rx, uh, if, uh, it, it starts with an individual. It's n- nothing cookie cutter here. Nothing cookie cutter because it starts with an assessment and a personalized plan. And it's as easy as just picking up the phone. Uh, yeah, you can, you can go to 8856 Erie Drive, but simply picking up the phone uh, it gets the process started. And so much of this now can be done um, online. Get, online, right, Denisa? Yeah, we train virtually and in person, and we also have uh, a digital support program where they, they can play games and uh, do that also. So um, I, I guess one of the big questions I always get is what's the difference in a video game and uh coming in to work with a, a trainer you yeah. know that's yeah. like yeah. like what's the difference in you and wordle you know yeah mm-hmm. because um, if somebody so, watches they see and oh well that's the, it's the, just brain games, yeah, they're, yeah they're brain games they're playing video games right right yeah. yeah so i think that uh one of the biggest differences is that you're working one-to-one with a person and we're a personal trainer just like if you would go to a gym mm-hmm. and you would be working with a personal trainer going to the gym is valuable so like if we scaled it and we said okay if you're going to go work out every day and you're going to be deliberate at working out your brain every day and you know where your weaknesses are and you're going to work on those Uh, my daughter-in-law she loves to play that wordle game Mm -hmm. and um it's she and I were talking about it the other day and I was like well it's a great game but I do have to say you love English and Mm -hmm. you love you know working on things like that and so for you that's just a fun pastime yeah it's not truly what is beneficial to your game to your brain so in other words it's not stretching too much it's not stretching it right yes (laughs) okay yes exactly she's just she's just playing in the fun area of her brain and not really stretching it in a way that would actually give her something that would be more challenging for Mm. her and I think that that's kind of the key to first getting that assessment and knowing and that assessment can be done as you discussed David it can be done in the privacy of your home I mean you can call call, pay for the link have the link sent to you get the results do a virtual you know consultation go over what types of games and you can do it all from your home I mean that's that's a if that's a preference to you you could do it all from your home but uh and even meet with a personal brain trainer from your home if that's what you wanted to do so there is lots of value in that 100 Mm percent um in doing that and there's a lot of people who do a fabulous job in doing what I'm gonna call daily brain exercise um, that they really you know I, I do daily brain exercise through apps and I enjoy games and and I read and I you know I do those things and so there is definitely are there any particular apps trained. you would recommend yeah there's several uh, again I mean there's there's some really good gap apps that are kind of encompassing that are good for people to use but there's also apps that are targeted specifically to a skill Mm -hmm. and so again if i was going to say well here's a generic app if you just want to you know work generically at home elevates it you know a really good one just to work you know brain and it's it's a really good one just to work across that or if it's a young child brain where safari is a really good you know just if you're just going to kind of work generically right Right. but if you really want to know where skills are at and you really want to target those it starts with getting that assessment first and then saying okay where do I need to work Mm -hmm. is it in my working memory is it in you know which area of the brain is it in so um long-term memory I would recommend games more like five second rule working on retrieval exercises even playing some of the games games that that we used to play in the car you know 20 questions mm. uh, I spy things like that yeah yeah um, going on a trip and I'm taking a you know apple bear 
cat with me, you know. Right. Um, those cat. types of things to work on. Yeah, a really fun game. We could play that one all day long. <laughs> um, Makes the time go so quick, blast. too. Yeah. Yeah, it's a timeless game. Absolutely. And there's so many of these things that you can play if you're in the car, sitting at a restaurant. We spend a lot of our time waiting and a lot of our time doing mindless things. In other words, jumping on uh, and, and doing Facebook and scrolling on TikTok and Instagram. And, and that actually affects our attention so mm. much that the attention of an average American is less than a goldfish. Uh, <laughs> and that's, I know, yeah. right? It's, yeah. That's actually an actual study been done that the attention span of Americans is actually less than a goldfish. I That's scary. It. I That's scary. It. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, I mean, it's kind of like one of those things, the average attention span of a goldfish is 12 seconds, and the average attention span of a human is eight seconds. Oh, Lord. And we, we But here's that. the good news. And it doesn't we, have to stay that way. Right. You can train your brain. Yeah. You, can, you can change that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, you can. You can. And, and there's somewhat of a myth to that, saying it in that way. Well, your, your attention span's not really one second less than, you know, a goldfish. It's really about the fact that we spend so much time scrolling through things that we're really not spending enough time doing the things that grow our brain in the right direction yeah, it's, right. About, it's really the I hear it's a lot about yeah it, an intentionality using your time intentionally to purposefully grow yourself <laughs> Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. And I think that that's really the the issue so much is is that our attention types have changed, and that's why oh. people refer to that so much is that the way we look at things. Think of it this way: we're we're talking on radio right now. The people who are listening to us right now are in a car, captive audience, or or they've tuned in on purpose because right. they want to hear what we have to say. Right. 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 And that's an auditory uh, listening. Many people no longer have the ability to auditorily take in information because it's a skill that is being lost wow. yes. for yeah. the visual skill. And so it's changing our attention type and uh, we're losing that auditory attention and moving it more into a visual attention, which affects our ability to divide and uh, select. Attention. But, you know, the thing is, and I know you know this, uh, Denisa, but everybody else needs to understand that the training that you do, the brain training at Learning Rx led to an average auditory processing gain of 19 points for That's children correct. and teens who were struggling, who were having learning struggles, and 17 points for children and teens with ADHD. Now, that's an incredible, that's an incredible increase. It is an incredible increase, and the fact that it translates to life to increase your listening skills in the classroom, your reading skills, your ability to take in, that's really the transfer effect to me is um, a, a bigger deal because that gives us the motivated reasoning to understand how our cognitive processing is actually growing right. in those skills. Right. Um, yeah. So I... I think that if we're being deliberate in addressing those skills, um, then that's then that's the key. Hmm. You know, when learning RX has been around a long time, and you know the the people we they hear us talking about it, but I know you still get this question, um, and I think it's important that we you know that we talk about it. Uh, because some people have the mis, you know, misconception that well, learning RX that's tutoring, uh, and it's and it's not. It's brain training. However, um, you know, there's a certain amount of you are learning RX. So, in the brain training, there's going to be some um, some knowledge exchange, some uh, uh, quote on air quoting here, tutoring done too. But what's the difference? You know, what's the difference between between brain training versus tutoring. So tutoring is really reteaching of content when a person who has had a hard time um, getting the content delivered in a fashion um, 
maybe the teacher was gone. Maybe uh, the student uh, missed because they were sick. Right. Um, you know, different things like that that occur that the instruction, the, the actual content was missed. Right. Mm -hmm. And so tutoring, the purpose of tutoring is to re-deliver content. Right. At Learning Rx, we can re-deliver some content, but our content that we deliver is usually tied directly to understanding the principles. For example, mathematics. We can sit there and do your math homework for you, which is basically what tutoring does, but that's not as valuable as helping you understand the why behind the math principles. Yes, yes. And so if you understand the why behind the math principles, then you not only learn it for this moment, but you learn it for life. It's kind of like the concept of giving the man a fish or giving teaching him to fish so he can fish for his own self mm -hmm. for a lifetime. Right. So better than one meal, it lasts for a long time time absolutely absolutely so if you train attention or you train memory or you train and in in our world we're being impacted on so many levels <laughs> attention memory you know all these different areas are being uh, uh, attacked on so many different levels and we don't realize that we are always training our brains mm. we are always training our brains either forward or backward mm. yeah. and that's the question yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the big question are we training forward or are we training backward <laughs> Yes. Are we being deliberate? Or are we just being passive about what we're doing with life? And I, I'm not against, you know, I, I like a good TV show, too. I enjoy sure. that, you know. Sure. Um, so I'm not going to say that that's not something uh, that I need, you know, uh, to do. What I'm going to say instead is that if we choose to do active it's just like if you're going to sit on the couch and couch potato while you do it then i mean you're not accomplishing anything physically either right right, right. so there has to be a balance of those things just like if you're you know going to do some tv then go ahead and change and do some other activities absolutely balance it out mm. learning rx denisa walker our life strategist today learning rx is 8856 Yuri Drive in Shreveport. Pick up the phone, give a call. That's the way it all starts. 318 797 8523. Much more. We're, uh, we're talking about ADHD awareness. We're talking about neurodiversity awareness all today here on Strategies for Living with Denisa Walker. We'll be right back. Hey, let's talk about the Robinson Film Center. You know, I say it, I say it a lot. There's no place like the Absolutely Robinson. Absolutely, there is not. 617 Texas Street, downtown Shreveport. You've got so much. You've got the movies. you got Abby Singer's Bistro on mm. the second floor of RFC, open for lunch and dinner Tuesday through Saturday. Newly remodeled. Absolutely. Great menu. RobinsonFilmCenter.org is the way you check it all out. You can go to RobinsonFilmCenter.org at any time and uh, find out what movies are showing. Here's the deal. You want to join the crowd, join the fun, become a member. When you become a member, you become a star. Mm -hmm. You get discounts on movies. You get concession upgrades. You get bistro deals. RFC, 617 Texas Street in downtown Shreveport. I'll say it again. There's no place like the Robinson. There is not, and I'm glad we have one right here. Absolutely. The Robinson Film Center dot O-R-G. Reading begins not in the classroom, but in your child's brain. I'm Donisa Walker with Learning Rx Report. If your child struggles to read, maybe he or she has trouble focusing or comprehending, Learning Rx Report offers a science solution to reading problems. Working one-on-one with your child, targeting his or her reading skills. Today, call Learning Rx Report. Make an appointment to have your child assessed. I know you want to help your child. So does Learning Rx Report. And welcome back. Welcome back into Strategies for Living here on 1017 FM 710 Keel. You know, we do healthy, we do peace. Yeah, questing for a better life for all of us. That's what we do here on Strategies for Living. So it fits. Denisa Walker is here with us today because she's all about 
making our life better. The brain of brains. Yeah, you make your, you, you, you train your brain and you change everything, mm-hmm. right? That's right. And uh, so welcome back, folks. Denisa Walker from Learning RX Shreveport Bossier is with us. 8856 Yuri Drive. That's where Learning RX is uh, located. 318-797-8523. That's, his, that's the easy way to connect with uh, Learning RX. Uh, you know, we're talking about ADHD awareness. We're talking about neurodiversity. And it strikes me, Denisa, that, um, you know, the, the parent teacher uh, feedback doesn't happen for a while i mean you 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 were saying earlier you know the the school year has just kicked off uh you might have had a meet the teacher night or something like that but you're not going to get really solid feedback uh about your child or you know your student's performance in school for nine weeks uh, so that's a while to come. In the meantime, what do parents need to tune into and be aware of? What do we need to watch for in our children as they're interacting through these first critical weeks of, of the new school year? I think the first things, I think a lot of times what we do as parents is we ask them, how was your day? Instead of being specific with the question of what did you learn today? Mm-hmm. Uh, and being more, uh, diving in just a little bit deeper, because I think if we can change the conversation to help children understand that it's a, supposed to be about learning and where their where their struggle is that they'll open up to us a little bit more i think one of the things the red flags i tell my parents to look for is when a child is coming home and having a meltdown at the end of a day mm. yeah. they're already tired and fatigued and remember you're the safe place so they're going into that fight flight freeze they're having a meltdown they're crying a lot they're highly emotional they're wanting to sleep a lot some of that tiredness is normal if they They've had a super hard day at school. Yeah. But some of it is not normal, and it's because they have anxiety, because they're having a struggle with the learning process. So if that's and, happening with regularity, if it happens every so often, just every now and right. again, don't panic. But if it's happening frequently, routinely, yeah. frequently, uh, every yes. week or multiple times a week, a week yes. yeah, then that's something <laughs> that you really need to tune in and into and, and maybe uh, uh, get more information about, right? Right, because it means that the child is struggling, and if you see the child having anxiety, stomach aches, uh, don't want to go to school, um, you know, when you bring them their homework, you open it up, and you're having, you know, like those those meltdowns. Spending hours on homework, you should not mm. be spending hours on homework. You should be spending minutes. Right. Um, if you're, it's, it's ten minutes times the grade of the child. So if you're spending more than ten minutes times the grade of the child you're spending too long on homework and something's wrong Hmm. Um, so that's that's a a big red flag right there now honestly and I'm going to say that with this this uh, aside you need to be reading 20 minutes a child a a night with your child regardless Um, and that should be something that you're doing together and enjoying and I think every parent should have a a novel a book a (coughs) chapter book that they're enjoying with their child and I say enjoying with your child because you should be reading it with them. Sure. They're tired. You read with them. You enjoy the experience with them. Some of the books I recommend that I absolutely love, Me Knock Rise by Natalie Babbitt or Tuck Everlasting or, you know, some of these fun books that can give them, uh, you know, a good grasp of what's going on um, in in the world, but yet still have some, some fictional uh, pieces to it. I mean, if you want to read Eric gone uh, about dinosaurs because your child's into dinosaurs Mm -hmm. that book is huge it may take you all year to read it a chapter at a time with your family but you will enjoy the experience of the engagement and that's all Um, right because you're reading yeah yeah Yeah. yes yes i think the 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 key is the engagement and i encourage parents to read above the grade level so Uh. when they show them um that learning experience not above the parents grade level necessarily but they show them how a um 
a, a reader interacts with text and that's really right. important and we need to always be doing that no matter how old that the child is um, we live in a very busy day and age and this is a good wind down thing and it's a good place to build that camaraderie of you know how the english language comes together and it gives the child a time to, to be able to say i wish i could read like that mm -hmm. i'm struggling with reading it helps them open a conversation with you um, when they are having a hard time right um, and I think that's that's a big factor another key I would always uh, watch for uh, in a child is any type of self-harm that they're doing scratching themselves twisting their hair pulling on things biting their nails all of these are signs of anxiety um, and if they're going to school and coming home with those types of behaviors those are things you need to be aware of right um, saying that their eyes hurt rubbing their eyes a lot um, these types of behaviors indicate that something else is going on could be as simple as a vision issue or a hearing issue um, you know in the classroom but if we take the time to make it safe for our kids and we explain to them not everybody learns the same going back to neurodiversity and saying not everyone learns the same and you're not expected to learn the same and I don't expect perfection I don't expect right. you to be an A student if you're learning at the best and giving a hundred percent of your Yourself. Right. And if you're not giving 100% of yourself, why? What's happening that's preventing you from doing that? Right. And yeah. I think opening that conversation is the key. Absolutely. And that's where that assessment uh, that Learning Rx does can really come into play and be helpful because that assessment provides so much information about what's going on. And it's so Game easy. Changer. Yeah, and and it's so easy uh, to uh, to get that feedback. It simply right. uh, simply starts by three one eight seven nine seven eight five two three. Pick up the phone, uh, get the link, uh, or come. You know, eighty eight fifty six Uri Drive. Uh, make call and make an appointment and come. Uh, it's that easy. It's 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 really that simple. It starts with that. It is, and we're celebrating 16 years coming up, and I am just not only and not only the celebrating best in the world. Yeah, world. You know, <laughs> it's not many times that Lauren and I get to talk to a world champion. I'm telling you. But, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> it is my pleasure to say, Denisa Walker is a world champion, mm -hmm. Learning RX Center. Congratulations, yes. Denisa. Yes. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. It is. It has been an honor, and I am. I'm thrilled. I'm looking forward to. Um, we're celebrating our student of the year, Sarah Heflin, and uh, she was the one who was uh, a young high school student struggling and in AP classes, smart as a whip, but having extreme anxiety, working for hours at night, yeah. and it's changed her life. Well, it can change your child's life. It can change your life, too. 318-797-8523. Learning Rx of Shreveport, Bozier, 8856 Uri Drive in Shreveport, Denisa Walker. And uh, wow, what a difference. What a difference training your brain can make. It's so easy to start. Denisa Walker from Learning RX Report Bosher. We'll be right back. Dealing with stress? Pain? Feel like you're running out of options? When your life is balanced, wellness is a given. True wellness is holistic. It's about the mind, the body, and the spirit, all in balance. Now, there's a place right here in Shreveport that's all about helping us achieve peak mental, emotional, and physical health. The Balanced Life, 117 Kings Highway, right next door to Strawn's. Come see and feel the difference getting your life in balance can be. Many of your friends and neighbors have already learned the difference less stress and pain mean in their lives. You can book a discovery session right now online, thebalancedlife.us. All you've got to lose is stress, pain, or maybe both. Come see and feel for yourself the real difference Balanced Wellness makes. The Balanced Life Wellness Center, 117 Kings Highway in Shreveport, next door to Strong's, thebalancedlife.us. And welcome back in to 101.7 FM 710 Keel. Welcome back into Strategies for Living. Lauren Leon McMillan 
who has a brain. Yeah, da- I hope so. Da- David McMillan. Sure. And Although the, at the, this the, point, the, it's pretty stretched. You yeah, know? well, you know, and, and I was going to say, I, I, you know, I think I have one, but the jury is still out. <laughs> yeah, well, we, we've, we've got a good trainer and, and yeah. excellent. We have the best trainers in the world Doesn't here, Doesn't Denisa by the way. always give us, uh, you know, some wonderful information yes. when she comes? Yeah, I'm so All right, so uh, right now, the assessment, and everything starts at Learning Rx with the assessment process, right? right. And you get so much information when you do an assessment. It's and invaluable. Right now, if you the assessment is the assessment is half price if you plug in neurodiversity. Yes. How did I do? You did great. You got did, it this did I, time. Did I get it? Yes. The right. keyword is neurodiversity, okay. and that gets you half off. That gets you half off of uh, of the assessment, and the assessment comes with, um, you know, direct feedback mm-hmm. from Denisa Walker, one on one feedback. And then if you want to go further, it'll, you know, kind of tell you, okay, well, this is... It gives you a roadmap. Gives you a roadmap, yeah. Yeah. And then you know. You know what you know. And there's some things, of course, once you have the information from the assessment, there will be some obvious things that you can do to improve your brain health. And when you improve your the health of your brain, you're improving your life. And as Denise always reminds us, it's always, always, always good just to have a baseline. Absolutely. No matter what age you are. Absolutely. Just to know where your brain is and how you're performing. Yep. Yeah. So there you go. Get your checkup. Uh, 7978523 is the phone number. 318-797-8523. Yuri Drive. Learning Rx. Shreveport, Bossier City. Lauren, thank you. Denisa Walker, thank you. Folks, thank you for tuning in to Strategies for Living. We appreciate you being here with us. We appreciate our sponsors, our wonderful sponsors making it possible. Of course, one of those is Learning RX and the Robinson Film Center and Azalea Cleaners and Pintail Roofing. Roof, roof. And the Balanced Life Wellness Center. If today, if today were the last day of your life, you only had one more phone call, that you could make. Who would you call? What would you say? And why are you waiting? (laughs) Make the call. For Denisa Walker, for Lauren Leon McMillan, I'm David McMillan. See you next time right here on Strategies for Living.